Hello again and welcome to another Warhammer 40k Imperial Guard Morning Glory video and today guys I am super excited because I finally get to show you the picture of the new Imperial Guard models. So what I've got for you today is a high quality version of the Imperial Guard new Cadian models that I saw about a month or so ago. Now to be clear, this is actually a higher quality version of the picture than I actually saw originally. So there's a few more details here that I'm able to pick out that I wasn't able to see at all before. And when I last saw it, it was on a small phone as well. So really is great to be able to finally get this picture on the big screen and for me to be able to go through some of the details of it. But as you can see guys, I wasn't full of it. It wasn't a hoax, it's definitely real. There is loads and loads of new Cadian models coming out and it just looks absolutely fantastic. And there's a few bits that I can see in this bit picture that I couldn't see in the last one. So some of them are a bit more obvious. So for example, you can see the big new Sentinel model and it looks really, really cool. Now, when I last saw it, it was it looked a little bit further back in the picture. And like I said, it was a lot blurrier. And so it looked like almost like uh, one of the walkers from um, Iron Harvest. But actually looking at it now, it looks a lot more futuristic and a lot more Adeptus Mechanicus, but it certainly looks like an armored Sentinel, which is really, really cool. Uh, its weapon mount is in a similar place to where it is now. Uh, I actually thought originally that it was higher up, but I can see now that's just sort of the shape of the model. So weapon mount is still in a similar place and the Hunter Killer missiles are in a similar place as well. But you can see how different the Sentinel looks now. That is the armoured Sentinel version, and it looks really beefy. It looks really, really beefy, and I actually like it a lot. I know some people are a bit unsure on it, but I actually like it a lot. And the reason I like it so much is because it feels a little bit more realistic. Rather than having a couple of little vision slits uh, with window wipers on them, like the current Sentinel has, which actually, when you think about it, you wouldn't you wouldn't want to see it like that. Why has the Sentinel got two eye vision slits, you know what I mean? Uh, it's got one sort of big vision slit across the middle, which looks fantastic. It's still got a couple on the outside, on the sides as well, which is great. But overall, I think the armor Sentinel looks a lot more armored now, which is really, really, really good. Um, I like the sort of style of the exhaust and stuff, and it looks like they've updated the aerial as well, which I didn't uh, know about last time. Now, what's also really interesting here is if you look in the back, which I could not see at all, if you look in the back near where the orange glow is on this picture, you will see there is also a Scout Sentinel variant. So what I think we can take away from this, guys, is that um, this is not a new model. This is not a new, not a new, by new model, this is not a new unit. This is an update to the current unit. That's what I think it is. So if you want the old Sentinel kit and you love the old Sentinel kit, you probably want to go out and get those now because I suspect that this is not a new kind of, you know, call pattern walk or anything like that. My suspicion is that this is a new Sentinel kit, which is really, really good. I really, really like the look of it. Uh, I know some people aren't so sure on it, but I personally really like the look of it and will certainly be getting uh, myself a little squadron of these boys, no doubt about it. So I absolutely love the new Sentinel kit. So, uh, and the one other thing I'd point out is if you look in the back on the Scout Sentinel, I wonder what kind of weapon that is, because that doesn't look like, is that a plasma cannon again? It doesn't look like a plasma cannon again, does it? Maybe some kind of new multi-laser or maybe a new weapon, who knows? Could be a new weapon on the uh, on the Scout Sentinel, but uh, I think it's potentially uh, the multi-laser there. Or, yeah, I don't think it's an auto can. It's got battery packs, I can see. So my guess would be that it's a new new multi-laser or new LAS cannon, which looks pretty cool, not going to lie. Uh, I think these models, if you look at them, though, uh, I think these models would fit in, especially the Scout Sentinel variant. I think, from what I can see here, that they're definitely going to fit in on the new... Uh, on the new, well, alongside your old models, just just fine. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. The one thing I would uh, say is, if you look at the old Scout Sentinel one, there is a. I'm not sure if that. I think that's a scout on the on what would be its left hand side, our right hand side from this, our perspective, guys. I is that Sentinel chainsword hanging down on a little different swivelly arm? Because this, the, you can obviously the armored one's got a cool searchlight, but what's that thing hanging down from the Scout Sentinel in the back? Is that in, is that a combat arm? Could be, 
Very interesting. Obviously, we can't quite tell yet, guys, but it looks like there's a new Sentinel kit coming for sure, and that it can build two variants, and it looks like it's got new molds for weapons and all sorts of good stuff. That Hunter Killer Missile looks a lot smaller as well. I don't know what you guys think, but that looks like a much stubbier Hunter Killer Missile to me, rather than the big long one that we're, we're used to at the moment. So I thought I'd go through the Sentinel kit first, but then obviously we've got to move on to the Kazakin. Now these guys, a lot more detail you can pick out now than I could in, in my original picture. So the helmet design has changed significantly. Uh, I think it's a lot, you know, if you look at it, it looks more like, almost like a bowl helmet, like a, almost like a Falsham Jaeger helmet from like World War II. Um, and the gas mask design has changed somewhat as well. Uh, looks a little bit more... Looks similar to the original gas mask that the Kazakin had, but definitely a bit different as well. But over, yeah, the head, I'd say out of the, between the contrast in the new model and the old model, the, the helmet design and the head design definitely seems to have changed the most. Uh, I'm definitely up for it though. Looks really, really cool. Uh, I think it's, I think the new Kazakin models are just great. I, you guys know I'm not normally one to just gush over everything and anything GW, but I think the new Kazakin models look really, really good. The guy that's aiming is Helgen, the guy that's firing from the hip. You've got all the classic poses there. Uh, you've got, obviously, the new Voxcaster guy as well. Looks fantastic. Because uh, it was a bit difficult to tell which Kazakin had Voxcasters and which ones didn't in the old kit. But now, look, you, it's pretty easy to tell. So I think that's really, really good. Sergeant model looks great as well. Uh, obviously going to miss the old classic sergeant with you know the bald head pointing his pistol. Maybe that will be a head option. But we've got a cool field cap, which looks really good. And I'm always up for officers and sergeants and the guard wearing field caps. I think it just, uh, just something about it feels right. So what's also interesting about the field cap is it's kind of a throwback to the old guard codex. I think it's the fourth edition one where they showed a Cadian officer wearing in a bit of artwork, wearing like a cool field cap. And I feel like that field cap that this uh, Kazakhstan sergeant kind of throws back to that so really interesting bit of a shame we don't have that you know like the old bald head side that I said but hopefully that'll be a head option so we can recreate that classic pose um in terms of the uh scion hotshot las guns or hell guns they definitely look a lot different to the current scion ones these kazakin ones look like unique weapons now the connectors look very similar but the rifles look very different it'll be interesting to see how gw plays it because if this was like a marine unit, like a, a spaceman unit, this would be a different weapon because GW are like, oh, the moment there's a different rifle design, let's give it a different stat, let's give it a different weapon upgrade, let's see how it goes. So it'll be interesting to see if that actually is a different weapon or if it is a hotshot lasgun. It's I'm not sure. Now, one thing I want to point out is that the some of these hotshot, uh, some of these hell guns have scopes and some of them don't. I think that's just a cool little design choice. But if you remember on the old Kazakhstan models. The scopes were on were targeters, and they were like on the side of the las guns, on the side of the hotshot uh, guns, I should say. And now we're seeing scopes on top instead, which I think makes a lot more sense and looks really, really cool. But I think back in the old fluff, the reason they were on the side is they were they didn't aim down the scope. The scopes were linked to their helmets, so they could aim, you know, almost round corners and stuff. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, obviously if they keep any kind of rule like that. I doubt it. Like I said, I think these will just be the equivalent of hotshot las guns, but they may get a special rule because, you know, they do look a bit different. Now, one thing I do want to mention, I didn't see this in the old picture, but I can see it now in the new picture. If you look at the Kazakin model that is holding his weapon in one hand and has what maybe is a grenade in the other hand, it's the guy who's just in front of the uh, gene stealer who's like screaming with the silent talon and he's just below the officer and the command squad with the flag is one of the more further away ones, right? If you look at that model, it's the guy who's like, who's partially obscured by the plasma pistol, right? If you look at that scion there, the end of his gun, the tip of his gun, the barrel, looks different to the other hotshot las guns. It, the weapon looks a little bit longer and the barrel looks a bit bigger. In fact, it looks like it goes, rather than being a little bit sticking out the front, it looks like it covers the whole the whole end. Now, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of a hotshot volley gun. So it's interesting. So I originally didn't see that bit of detail in the, uh, in the picture. But now that I've got the more high quality version, that looks like a hotshot volley gun to me. So my thinking is that these guys will get access to all of the gear that regular Scions get access to, that these Kazakhstan will get access to Hotshot Volleyguns. And to me, 
That makes me start thinking that these might be a direct replacement for the current kit. Which would be vet for the current Scion kit, which would be very, very interesting. I wonder if GW is going to finally move away from the uh, from the Scion kit. Bit strange considering the current Scion kit is relatively new by guard standards and by GW standards. I mean, it's only uh, it's only what like six six years old. So it's I mean it's old, but it's still pretty new. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, now looking at some of the we other weapon options, you can see we, you know, unlike the old kinds of game, we get a plasma pistol option now. Uh, more than likely, we'll have like chainsaw, power sword options, all that good stuff. Um, and apart from that, obviously, there's the flamer guy as well, who looks pretty good. Uh, so it looks like we're getting loads of weapon options. It's interesting if you look at that sort of picture. How many signs we got there? One, two. Th how many cards can actually say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So. There's 10 there, and you can see there's two sergeants. One sergeant's got, his, got a, a hot shot pistol pointing down with his hand on his hip, and then the other one's got a plasma pistol. So it'll be interesting, yeah. Um, it looks like we're going to get loads of different poses as well, because if you look, the plasma pistol sergeant guy looks totally different to the hot shot plasma pistol guy. So it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. One thing to notice is it looks like the hot shot pistol for the, uh, for the Kazakin has feed has power cables coming out of it where if you look at the current scion kit it doesn't have power cables coming out of it so a little bit of a difference there not sure if it'll make a difference which is a design difference remember the old uh, kazakin models the pistol did have a power feed to it so that's kind of cool even if it's just a little aesthetic thing it's a cool little throwback to those older models and that's voxcaster guy i can't decide whether he's holding his rifle under his arm or if he also has uh, hot shot last pistol so it'd be interesting to see how that goes there so that's the uh the kazakin overall i really really like the design models i think they've captured the old look of the kadian kazakin really really well uh, and at the same time they have made them look much more modern much more fluid much more dynamic a lot of these poses just frankly make sense to me whilst at the same time being a throwback to some of the of uh, the older cool poses um just generally speaking about these sounds they look like big bulky chunky armored models they look really they look bigger than your standard guards they look very much like uh, they are just the elite of the elite the best of the best and they look really really well armored and the armor design just fits in perfectly with both the current Cadian kit and with the old Kazakin kit I think this looks much more like a unit within the Imperial Guard, then like a separate entity like the Scions were. Now, I want to take a look at the Creed model now. So this is a much, I can see this model much better than I, I could in the in the original picture. And now I'm not 100% certain on whether it is a female Creed or not. It literally could go either way. Um, the hair slicked back could potentially end in like a bun or a ponytail, or it could not. The breastplate does look quite, you know, accommodating, but it could simply just be uh, just an ornate breastplate. I mean, it looks like it's got the a really big ornate Aquila on it. So interesting there. Uh, I'm still fairly convinced that this is a Creed model, whether it's a successor or a female version or a new sort of actual Creed model. You know, you can see here you've got the brace of hotshot pistols. You've got the red sash. Uh, you've got the big trench coat and then you've got a sword in one hand. So it, to me, it definitely seems like it's going to be a new Creed style model. Um, didn't notice the like the ba the baton, the baton, however you want to say it, in uh, the model's uh, sort of left hand from its perspective, right hand from our perspective. Um, but yeah, that's kind of an interesting new thing, like uh, it's like a command stick or something. Perhaps that'll be a unique relic for Creed. Because if you look at Creed, at the model at the moment, he doesn't have a unique relic. It's one of the weird things about all of the guard sort of characters, apart from maybe like what like Harker. You know, and Strachan, you know, most of the guard cats, like Yarrick doesn't have a special power claw. He just has, you know, a power claw. You know, Creed doesn't have any special weapons. He just has, oh, we can take two hotshot last pistols. So it'll be interesting to see if the new Creed, new commander model, whatever this is, whatever it is, if it gets a, uh, if it gets a relic and that relic might be like a relic sword or a relic, uh, you know, command rod or something like that. Either way, it looks pretty good. Now, Interestingly, speaking of like command rod stuff, that makes me think about you know back at the moment, scions can't order, can't be ordered by guard officers, but maybe 
you know, guard officers will get access to the command rod to get themselves an extra order. And maybe also uh, guard officers will be able to order around Kazakin if they're not a different regiment. You know, it'd be interesting in what route they go with it. Because obviously Cadian and Kazakin would do as they're told by a Cadian officer. They wouldn't need like their own separate officer. So it'd be interesting to see how they how they play that out. But going back to the model, hopefully you guys can see why I thought it might be a female model. But I think you can both agree, you know, both. Like I've got two whole viewers in this uh, on this video. I think hopefully we can all agree that this is, it's, it's not an overly sexualized model at all. It, it literally could just be a regular old uh, sort of male commander. And it'll be interesting to see how it goes, but it's definitely, in my opinion, a creed stand-in. And what's interesting is it's got, like, if you look at some of the details, there's a tactical rock, there's a big banner in the back that says Cadia, and there's a little discarded helmet on the on the base, and that looks like one of the new style Kazakhan helmets. Now, it'll be interesting to see if that new style Kazakhan helmet uh carries on over to some of the other guard models that we can see because what I want to talk about now is I want to move straight on uh, to some of those models in the back now I originally said that I didn't think there was a new command squad or anything models but looking at these again now you guys can see like that flag that command squad looks totally different that looks like a totally different command squad uh, uh, sort of loadout. That guy with the flag with over his shoulder, that's not a model we've got at the moment. That power sword, that's not a power sword pose we have at the moment. Those other couple of models, they're not models we have at the moment. So I think we're getting a new command squad kit. And then what starts getting really interesting is you start looking at the models in the background. Right? Look at those, look at those guardsmen running. So firstly, obviously the new command squad looks great, but it's a little bit blurry. We can't see all the weapon options, but I'm making out maybe a Voxcaster guy and a um, guy with a LAS pistol or something and then almost not entirely sure and then you've got the, the new flag model, the new commander, so new command squad kit confirmed 100% but then looking behind, look at those, look at those models in the background guys, you know those Cadias running down the stairs, you know, there's a plasma gun there, now they don't look like Kazakin to me. They look like a different unit, but they also look like they've got the new, the new helmet style. So there's no, there's no. It looks like they've got new, like those las guns, like a different style. Those las guns almost look like the Krieg style las guns. And we've got, you know, that guy with the running at the bottom of the stairs, running pose. He's definitely not. That's definitely not a current pose we get in our current kit. I don't want, don't want to alarm people, but. Either that's another new kind of unit, or we're getting new standard Cadian kits. They're replacing the Cadian kit. I mean, how massive would that be? I mean, that's a whole model re re range refresh then. We're not just talking about, you know, a new Kazakhstan squad, new Sentinel. We're talking new Cadian models, top to bottom. New, because you can see the new heavy weapon teams in the back now. I was, uh, my, in the old picture, the new heavy weapon teams looked a bit different, but I can see them much more clearly now. But just sticking on those, uh, on those, those potentially new guardsmen, look, they're not as well armoured. They've not got gas masks on, from what I can see. Their, their power, go their, their las guns don't have power cables coming out of them. That guy who's like halfway down the stairs looks like he's almost got like a Krieg style las gun, which is kind of cool. So, this is really, really interesting to me. Either they're new Kazakhin and we just can't see them as well, but the bases are different. Look at the bases. They're traditional infantry guard style bases with green flock. Look at the Kazakhin bases. They're not. They're black with little bits of rubble like they're fighting in a city. I think we're getting new guardsman kit. I think we're getting a new Kadian kit, which is massive news, guys. Massive news. And a really strange decision by Games Workshop, in my opinion, because they just updated the old kit with the new sprue. So, and that was less than a year ago, it feels like. So, really interesting that we may be getting new guys, and, or maybe these are some kind of recon unit, or maybe they're some kind of hardened veteran kit. You know, if you've got a, you know, if you've, if you've got a squad there that's got a grenade launcher and a plasma gun in it, and those models look like they've got a whole smorgasbord of different like las rifles and, and whatnot. Then maybe it's a hardened veteran kit, which would be kind of interesting if they've released a hardened veteran kit. It would make a bit of sense, but ah, it's definitely a new infantry kit. Whatever it is, it's definitely a new infantry kit of one type or another. So that's massive, and I you could not tell that on the original grainy picture, but now 
Now, I, you, definitely to me, I, it looks like a new, another kit to me. 110%. percent i would be really surprised if that's not the case now. Um, so a couple of other bits I want to point out. I, I sort of briefly mentioned the heavy weapon teams. You guys can see the heavy weapon teams there, there now. No gun shields on the heavy weapon teams now. Uh, they look a bit different to the current ones. It looks like if you look that you've got one guy that's sort of uh, firing the weapon like kneeling and one guy that's uh, like sort of semi squatting, semi crouching down. Interestingly, if you look at the heavy weapon team models as well, it looks like on a couple of them, there, especially the missile launcher at the back, that looks like it could be a Vox cast. Now that would be really, really good if we can put Vox casters in heavy weapon squads finally. That would be massive. Although that could just be a Vox caster on the heavy weapons team for that Garsman squad. You know, maybe it's a heavy weapon team for the Garsman squad, I don't know. But really, really interesting overall. Those mods in the back are, are some of the ones that, uh, that really leave many questions unanswered. But in terms of those heavy weapons, it doesn't look like there's a plasma cannon kit there. I know I speculated on that in the original video, but it looks now like there's a, heavy, a new heavy bolter, a new auto cannon, a new missile launch kit. So still really, really nice, but it would have been nice to see a plasma cannon a heavy weapon team there. Uh, I was wrong around the ammo feeds, so apologies about that. It's not a U. That must have just been a bit of blur or mistake on the picture. So apologies on anyone who watched the original video. It looks like we're keeping the more... Uh, if we keep sort of keeping the traditional ammo feed on the auto cannon, looks like the heavy bolter uh, feed has changed though, and the box now is linked directly to the side of the the gun rather than being on the floor and linking up, which is interesting. Uh, can't tell too much about the missile launcher, but that's definitely a. It's definitely it's like the old missile launcher, isn't it? It's got the little sort of a uh, couple of little bipods, uh, the bipod feet sticking out. So. Looks like the, the new, um, not sure if the, if the new autocannon and new heavy bolter are on the traditional tripod or if they're on some more like of a base with a swivel. Can't really tell from this distance. I think it'll probably be a tripod, but not sure, not sure yet. So that's kind of it. The last one to mention is that new Commissar model. Now you can see what I meant. That looks like it's a, you know, it's, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit zoomed out on this picture. It's probably the hardest model to make out, but the model that's between the Sentinel and the Guardsman on top of the industrial pipe, that's the new Commissar model. And it comes with a power sword and a power fist, and it looks really, really good. It looks way, way, way better than the current Auto Perfectus Commissar model, which I think always looked goofy and cartoony, and I don't know why they went with that style. Uh, it looks a hundred times better. Um, so really, really just overall, so many exciting things in this picture. I mean, just, it's amazing. New Kazakin, potentially just new, totally new top Stormtroopers. Uh, you know, Stormtroopers getting fully folded into the guard structure. Uh, and then we've got a uh, new potential Guardsman kit, which is massive. New Command Squad kit, new Sentinel kit, new heavy weapons. We know we're getting a new tank as well. Um, a new, new Creed, a new Commissar. So... Just massive. So this is, I think, the highest quality version of the pitch that you can find on the internet at the moment. So you guys take a good hard look at this and let me know if you think there's anything that uh, I've missed. And put it down in the comment section below. But I'm super excited about this and I really hope all of you uh, lovely guys are excited about it as well. Overall, I think the Kazakin look great. The Sentinel looks great. The new Guardsman kits get me really excited. That new Command Squad kit looks great as well. Can't wait to get another flag for, the, for my Guard Army. Um, and then, yeah, the new Heavy Weapon teams will be interesting as well. So looking forward to picking up a few of them and seeing how they fit in with the new model range. So, absolutely fantastic uh, sort of uh, picture here. Really glad that I can finally show you the picture, not to talk about it. Hopefully you guys can under you see what I was trying to explain last time. Uh, but massive thank you. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have enjoyed it, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. And if you've really enjoyed today's video and you want to uh, go the extra mile and support the channel a little bit further, consider becoming a channel member or a Patreon supporter. It really does make a huge difference and allows me to keep doing the Mordian Glory channel. Without further ado, I want to say a massive thank you to all my current supporters. And of course, I'll see you guys next time.